Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my Raspberry Pi Bitcoin mining rig. What I've got here is I've got seven of the USB block eruptor ASICs from ASIC Miner. I've got these connected to a couple of D-Link powered USB hubs. And then I'm also using an Arctic Breeze fan to keep these ASICs cool. And uh, both of these hubs are connected to um, the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the Raspberry Pi is running CG Miner um, to do the actual mining on the ASICs. And uh, also connected to the Raspberry Pi, I have a, a LCD display um, from Adafruit. Um, this LCD came as a kit that you solder together, and this hooks up to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, it's used to display different statistics such as a hash rate. Here's a bit of a closer view of the LCD display itself. On the front of the unit, there's um, five different buttons and these buttons um, get passed through to a Python script that can perform different functions. Um, the first button here, the select button, is used to um, turn off the backlight on the LCD and as you hit it again it will cycle through the different colors. Uh, this kit from Adafruit comes with a multicolored backlight um, they also have another unit where you can choose just a solid color as a backlight, but I particularly like the ability to switch the colors. And uh, you can see it comes with quite a few different colors you can choose. Um, the next thing you can do is using the down button, um, you can toggle through the different screens of the uh, status display. First screen just shows you basically the average hash rate the number of accepted shares, rejects, and then also any hardware errors. And as soon as you hit the down button, um, you can see the next screen, the number of devices connected to the uh, Raspberry Pi, and the uh, overall error rate. And the next screen shows you the uh, current price of Bitcoins on uh, Mt. Gox, as far as also the uh, daily high and the daily low price. And this screen just shows you how long um, Pi Miner's been running. Also shows you the current network difficulty. To provide network connectivity for the CG Miner, um, using just a miniature USB wireless adapter. This particular one's made by EDMAX and uh, is verified to work well with the Raspberry Pi. Here's an up close view of what the ASICs themselves look like from uh, ASIC Miner. Basically, uh, not a very large unit at all. Um, this metal piece you see here is a heat spreader. The units do tend to operate fairly hot. Um, without a fan running on these ASICs, they do get hot enough uh, to where they will burn you if you touch them. So, with the USB fan I'm using, it uh, keeps them nice and cool, which will almost certainly extend the lifespan of these devices. On the back side here you can see it's just the bare printed circuit board with the components on there. Uh, the actual ASIC itself is this chip over here on the upper right. The other components on here consist of a USB to serial controller that allows it to interface to the USB port as well as a clock generator that controls the frequency of the ASIC. Um, on the upper left, there's a LED which is used to uh, indicate the status. Uh, the units will go solid green when they're not mining, so you can know if there's a problem with the unit. And they'll also flash every time they find a share. For more information on how to set up your own Raspberry Pi Bitcoin mining rig, you can check out the link to the article on my blog in the description below. Uh, I've included a list of all the parts you'll need, as well as some helpful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.